no one wants to do something like this, right? Where you have the new function, you call it, and then you have to like pass in like you know all your, all your ar arguments. So like I don't know, test, 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 like that kind of thing, right? No one wants a thousand arguments passed in. And then the other thing you can do is you can do the pass in like a config structure, but that then means again you're overriding some default values, right? So this is where options pattern comes in. So what actually is that? So I'll give you a quick show of what this code actually does. Uh, where is it? Here. So you can see here, I optionally want to provide a port and I optionally want to change it to be a secure server or an insecure server. You can do so many more different options than this, right? There might be a domain, optional domain with a default domain, lots of stuff, right? Anything and everything, right? It's just optional fields, whatever your application needs, right? So in my case, so far, just for this video, I've set up this port one and this HTTPS one. So simply, all I do is call the with port function with my port, right? And that is a type called, a function definition called opt func, right? So if I jump to that, um, if I jump to that, I have a file here called ops. So you can see, these are all the optional options that I'm going to be taking into my API structs, right? So what do I, how does this work, firstly, right? So first of all, you define like a type so we will use this as a definition right that these functions return so an opt func so this is literally how your kind of options would look oh, let, me go, let me go back there so for example with HTTPS you pass in your actual option as the first argument you return an opt func which as we know from up here is a pointer to the actual structure that we want to update the optional field on right and then simply all you do is set the optional field with the value passed into your function okay so likewise, same thing down here with the port. And how does this work with the actual API new package or the new function? Uh, just like this, right? So we can take in a you know a spread of opt func. So all this is going to be is you can pass in as many optional functions as you like, and they're just going to be um, passed in as an argument towards at the end of this function, right? So that means because of this nice syntactic sugar here, this is like a list of opt funks, right? Um, so what you can do is you can actually iterate through them and all you need to do is call the opt func, right? Or my, I've named it opt here, but this would actually be the opt func, right? Um, and that way, you've got all your defaults defined here. So I've got my port, I've got if it's secure or insecure, I've got the domain, etc. Like for example, this domain one, I would actually change to an opt func, have a default domain in it, and then I can optionally pass in a domain, right? Uh, and then yeah, like, like I say, you iterate through your options, you simply call the function that's going to go with well you call the function with the api pointer passed into it and then this function itself will then go and update the exact api you know because you're passing in a pointer to it um that you are instantiating to return from the function um so yeah really short video but um i thought it'd be an interesting one for people that have got this problem especially if you're new i'm sure a lot of the experienced developers watching this have seen uh, the options pattern before or something similar uh, but I just thought it was something to show off today uh, and hopefully, like I say, you guys get some use out of it. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.